Hey everyone, Joe Casabona of WP in One Month here with another video tip. Today I'm going to answer a question that I get really often, which is what is SSL and why is it important? So to start off, SSL stands for Secure Socket Layer. And before we get into exactly what that means, I want to show you two websites with two different URLs. The first one is https colon slash slash casabona.rocks. The other is simply casabona.rocks. And what's implied here is http colon slash slash without the s. You'll notice that both of these websites look exactly the same. And that the only difference is that the https is shown, it's in green, and there's a green lock next to it. This means that the URL is secured through SSL. And specifically, it's a verification certificate saying that the website is who it says it is. It also means that everything sent to and from the website is encrypted, and not just anybody can read the contents of that website. This is important because the journey information takes when being sent to and from your computer is not direct point A to point B. Our data actually goes through many computers along the way, and those computers are called intermediate computers. This means that if our data is sent without being encrypted through SSL, other people can read it. So I want you to imagine that you are in a crowded room, your friend is on one end and you're on the other, and you two are having a conversation. Certain things you wouldn't mind shouting across that room, like the Yankees won last night, or it's supposed to snow tomorrow. That's public information, and you don't care if everybody else hears it. However, if you're talking about more personal information, you don't really want to shout that across a crowded room, right? You want to do it more privately. And that's the difference between HTTP and HTTPS. HTTPS allows us to send personal data more privately. So how does this tie into WordPress? Well, when you log into the WordPress dashboard, you are sending your username and password. And you always want to make sure that your password's encrypted, because if it's not, anybody could potentially steal it. So if you're not using HTTPS or SSL already, you're going to want to purchase an SSL certificate through your hosting provider. And while purchasing and installing SSL certificates varies from hosting company to hosting company, you should be able to log into your account and find instructions on how to do that. One final note I want to mention is sometimes you may see websites with HTTPS that looks like this. The HTTPS is in red, it's crossed out, there's an X on the lock and you're presented with this, uh, your connection is not private warning. And this can mean anything from uh, the website's using a self-signed certificate, which means that the identity of the signer can't be verified, but it's still secure. Uh, it can mean that the SSL certificate is expired, uh, so it needs to be renewed. Or it could mean that somebody is pretending to be this website in order to steal your information. So I would always recommend, more often than not at least, uh, that you should avoid continuing to these websites unless specifically told otherwise by a trusted person. Uh, and that trusted person should be perhaps the person who built that website or an IT professional. Uh, but more often than not, you should avoid this. Uh, because it could, it could mean that your data is at risk. So I hope you have enjoyed this video tip. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more, more of them more often, possibly weekly. Uh, and if you have any questions about SSL or WordPress in general, head over to WPInOneMonth.com and get in touch. Thanks. Once again, I'm Joe Casabona. Have a great day.